So AMD's Ryzen 3000 series processors based on the Zen 2 architecture have yet again been listed by an online retailer in Singapore. The retailer has not only listed down the upcoming processors, but also mentioned the prices of the processors which have yet to hit the market, which if, and of course this is a big if, correct, could really disrupt the mainstream desktop segment yet again and would have proved me personally very wrong about my anticipated pricing of Ryzen 3000 series. From the looks of it, this is the second listing which features the same processors listed last time down by a Russian retailer back in January. The only difference is that now the processors are now listed with their prices, or should we say placeholder prices. As we mentioned last time, these specifications and CPU listings by the retailers seem to be a placeholder, but since we are seeing these being mentioned on various channels, there might be some legitimacy to it. Still, it's advised to take all of this with a canister of salt, and until AMD officially shares the specifications and part names of their upcoming Zen 2 based processor lineup, these are definitely in the leak category. Based on the Singaporean retailer listing via Tom's Hardware, it looks like AMD is allegedly going to offer at least 10 different Ryzen 3000 CPUs. Just like last time, we have the Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, and Ryzen 7, and the now new Ryzen 9, which have been mentioned here. The Ryzen 9 parts are obviously a nod at Intel's Core i9 series, which were introduced back in 2018, and the mainstream LGA 1151 platform now features i9 processors. AMD, of course, wants to take on Intel's high core count mainstream processors with their own Zen 2 based high core count offerings with twice as many cores. AMD's Zen 2 architecture would deliver the first 7 nanometer desktop processors, improving the chip architecture and increasing the IPC from the previous generation. AMD will also be adding in efficiency improvements to their new processors achieved through the new process node that allows for higher clock speeds. AMD's Ryzen 9 lineup would feature two parts, the Ryzen 9 3850X and the Ryzen 9 3800X. Based on previous leak specifications, both chips would feature 16 cores and 32 threads, and both CPUs will have differing clock speeds, with the flagship 3850 clocking in at 4.3 GHz base with a 5.1 GHz boost and a TDP of 135 watts, while the 3800X will clock in at 3.9 GHz base with a 4.7 GHz boost and a TDP of 125 watts. The Ryzen 9 3850X is listed for around 560 US, while the Ryzen 9 3800 is listed for around 505. Pretty phenomenal deal, if this leads to be true. While AMD showed an 8 core 16 thread part, at CES, there are also higher core count parts expected. In later chip and die shots, it was confirmed that AMD could feature a second Zen 2 die on the chip which would allow for up to 16 cores and 32 threads on a mainstream part. And there have been leaks of multiple 12 core parts, and yes, higher core count parts on mainstream platforms are coming with the Ryzen 3000 series. With the AMD Ryzen 7 3000 series lineup, AMD seems to be offering two new parts, the Ryzen 7 3700X and the Ryzen 7 3700. Both parts are identical in core configuration with the differences lying in the clocks and TDP. The Ryzen 7 3700X would feature 12 cores and 24 threads, which is 4 more cores and 8 more threads compared to the Ryzen 7 2700X, and the CPU will clock in at 4.2 GHz with the base and a boost of 5 GHz, matching the highest speed of Intel's fastest 8 core stream or 8 core chip in a 105 watt TDP package. The Ryzen 7 3700, on the other hand, will feature slightly tuned clock speeds with a 3.8 GHz base and a 4.6 GHz boost with a TDP of 95 watts. It'll be interesting to see if AMD matches similar prices for the Ryzen 7 3000 series to their existing parts which would clearly crush the competition. The AMD Ryzen 7 3700X is listed for 370 US, while the Ryzen 7 3700 is listed for 335. Next up, we have the Ryzen 5 parts, which have a core upgrade to six, from 6 cores and 12 threads to 8 cores and 16 threads. The Ryzen 5 3600X will feature a clock speed of 4 GHz base and 8 GHz boost with a TDP of 95 watts, while the Ryzen 5 3600 will feature clock speeds of 3.6 base and a 4.4 boost. 
These clock speeds come in with a TDP of 65 watts, which is pretty impressive. And AMD's Ryzen 5 3600X is listed for 258 US, while the Ryzen 5 3600 is listed for 200. Now there are also Ryzen 3 series, which will be competing for the Intel Core i3 territory with prices of less than $150. The Ryzen 3 3300X and Ryzen 3 3300 would both feature six cores and 12 threads along with their higher clock speeds. The Ryzen 3 3300X would operate at 3.5 gigahertz base with a 4.3 boost, while the 3300 would operate at a 3.2 base and a 4 gigahertz boost. The Ryzen 3 3300 would feature a TDP of 50 watts, while the higher 10 tier XQ would feature a TDP of 65 watts. 3300X listed for 145 US, while the 3300 for 110. It's going to be hard to justify anyone buying a quad core when you could get a 6 core 12 thread part for the same price. Now there are also G-Series parts which feature integrated graphics. Now rumors stated that the upcoming Ryzen 3000 series g SKUs would feature a Navi architecture and the Ryzen 5 3600G with 8 cores and 16 threads would feature a clock speeds of 3.2 base and a 4 GHz boost while the TDP would be set for 95 watts. The processor would feature a Navi GPU with 20 CUs or 1280 cores, which would be interesting to see the placement on the dies. AMD could go with a single monolithic die for this part, or use separate dies on an interposer, which would include a separate Zen 2 I.O. die. And, you know, that's an interesting thing to think about, but the part was listed for 225 US. The other G series SKUs in the Ryzen 3 a 3300G, which would feature six cores and 12 threads. Finally, we could see the six core <laughs> APU. I know the other one had eight cores, but this is kind of a long running rumored joke. I think it's funny. But feature six cores and 12 threads. The clock speeds would be set at three gigahertz base with a 3.8 boost and a TDP of 65 watts. Chip would feature Navi 15 with 960 cores and has been listed for $145. It's going to be a killer deal if that's true. It'll be definitely really interesting to see how it performs up against Intel's upcoming Gen 11 GPU architecture. Overall, the pricing structure of the upcoming Ryzen 3000 series desktop parts sounds great indeed among with the specifications, but these are not yet confirmed. So we have to wait for more information from AMD themselves to see just how much weight this holds to be true. A recent rumor highlighted that AMD would be launching their Ryzen 3000 series CPUs and X570 motherboards in July. At this point, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Too good to be true? Or is this what we should be getting? This is, should just be expected and it should just be this way. Love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and you've hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you guys in the next video.